he was doing something important, then why didn't he just call me and... Either way... And so hopefully they, they fall, because this stuff's like super slippery when you... Television and the internet. The media we consume, the stories we tell, those little boxes of lightning that have gotten thinner and thinner, much like our collective patients. They are instrumental parts of our lives. But what if I told you that television and the internet are lying to you? So I grew up in the United States, as you can tell by my everything, but I wasn't born here. I moved here when I was three years old. Being a first generation immigrant, I watched a lot of TV while my parents were working and I really fell in love with it. This portion of the video applies to shows from Nickelodeon and Disney Channel from the mid 2000s to the early 2010s. When I say I fell in love with these shows, I mean I fell in love with these shows. I thought that they represented the standard of what an American life was supposed to look like. I remember seeing the house from Good Luck Charlie and being like, what? This is what a house is supposed to look like? Is this what normal is supposed to be? I also remember thinking in the most innocent way possible that I would look better if I was white, which seems really bad. But in mentioning it to people over the years, I've realized that it's actually very, very common. I remember Shake It Up came around and I was like, what the heck? They look like me, oh my God. <laughs> I know everyone always says diversity and representation matters, but man, Diversity and representation matters, especially in children's media. I'm 21, so I'm young enough to have always had the internet in my life, but I would say that my internet journey actually started in 2012 when I first got an iPad. I discovered Minecraft YouTubers and Gangnam Style, which obviously had a very big effect on me. I wanted to be a YouTuber so bad. In the last 10 years, I've wanted to make Minecraft videos, music reviews, movie reviews, commentary, news, video essays, history videos. And here I am today, talking to you, still wanting to be exactly like what I watched way back then with Disney Channel. I promise you that 99% of people my age have at some point thought of being a YouTuber. It's just a force of nature, like Kingdom Style. I was never on Vine, but I definitely did feel the repercussions of do it for the Vine culture. Do it for the Vine! Stop, I hit you! Do it for the Vine! Do it for the Vine! We grew up with all the content that we could ever want in the palm of our hands, and we didn't just want to emulate it, we wanted to stand out. Most prank videos might be fake, but the children watching them don't know that. They see a young cool guy with a bigger house than the one from Good Luck Charlie, and he's not even pretending to be middle class like they were. He's rich, he's handsome, he's fit, and he pretends to do socially unacceptable things for a living. During what has been reported as a robbery prank video for YouTube, a man in Tennessee was shot and killed. Family vloggers are even worse, in my opinion. The parents who say they got carried away with a YouTube prank on their kids were sentenced to five years of probation. With TV, I think kids still have some understanding that this is fake. But with family vloggers, what they're presenting is supposedly real which is so much worse. Kids see other kids just like them, but living in mansions and with cool vlogger parents, and they think, man, why isn't my life like that? Not to mention the fact that with TV, there's at least child labor laws, but there's nothing stopping a parent from sticking a camera in their child's face 10 hours a day if they really wanted to. What if the kid just doesn't want to make YouTube videos anymore? If that's how the parents pay the bills, are they just gonna let go of the mansion and this lifestyle they've grown accustomed to? I've gotten this far in the video and I haven't even mentioned social media yet. Okay, obviously people only put the best part of their lives on social media, especially celebrities. I feel like so many people have talked about it that I'm not really interested in discussing that aspect in this video at least, but I also recognize that it's unhealthy to compare your real life to your entertainment. I do it too, and I don't know how to fix it, but I talked about it, and I'll keep on talking about it until someone smarter than me eventually has the answer. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and leaving a like down below. I've been working really hard on the videos. I'm building a set. I've got lights. I've got a microphone.
first of all, I've got ideas for future videos. So I really hope that you stay tuned and that you're excited as I am. Thank you for watching.